Hello everyone, Kill423 here with EpicCouncils.com. This, this is going to be a tutorial on flashing the, the Xbox 360 Slim Drive uh, using the Sputnik probe. As you can see, I got me a Slim Drive here. Step one is opening it up. It's just four screws to hold the cover on. Uh, in the beginning part of the video, I stated how important it is to be sure to dump your firmware before you do anything to the chipboard. Do a full dump. That way, in case you screw up, you at least have the firmware to write to a new chipboard when you get it. Now, when you're opening these things, sometimes it can be a little tricky right here where the, uh, the little foam stuff is around the edge. Me, I keep a razor blade on hand. See that foam there? I take a razor blade and I just stick it in right through here and just cut through that stuff. You can hear it click right through and you cut both sides of it right at the seam here. This one's already been open, so it's already cut through. And then it just pulls right apart, like so. Now that you have it open, we're going to need to remove the chipboard itself. So, what we have here. So we'll want to take all the ribbon cables loose. Real simple, this just slides right out. Push it out and it's done. Same with this down here. Actually this one here just lifts up. Just pop it upward. That's done. And this one here just pulls right out. I like to tuck. Oh. Can you flip this one up? Pull the wire out. I tuck it in underneath here so it stays out of the way. Now we'll rotate the board around. Make it easier for me to work with here. Uh, here we go. Sorry about that. Come on. It's so close to wanting to focus in. There we go. Next we'll want to desolder all these wires here. I've already got my iron warming up by the way. I take a little flux paste. And just put a little bit on each one of the solder points. A hair. Don't solder hair. That stuff stinks. And just put a little bit of flux in each one. Keeps the solder points from drying out. These actually look fairly dry already. By the way, I've had people I ask. I'm using a toothpick, it's just a standard freaking toothpick. Spread my thermal flux or my flex paste. Now, me, I like to take a pair of tweezers. Like so. Or uh, anti static tweezers. And just kind of hold on to the wire, keep it from just flopping around. And I just want to heat the pad and slowly pull the wire out. Don't be too forceful. Let the solder melt fully before you pull the wire out or you'll end up tearing up the trace or the pad. 
Also, make sure you let the wire cool before you just let go of it. Or it might just stick to something else. Great thing about these here, uh, light on drives is they're labeled. Might be kind of hard for you to make out in the video, but you can see them on your own drive. It's got a B, R, Y, G, and W, indicating what colors go where. Great idea. Now that we have the wires desoldered, we're going to go straight over, right across from the wires. We got one screw here. I want to take that out. Done. No biggie. Alright. Now. Go ahead and back the camera off a little bit. Right here is another clip. You just pull it over. Pull it, pull it over and the board just kind of pops right up. Uh, camera angles are backwards. Alright, this one here can be just a little bit trickier. I like to stick my fingernail in there. Uh, yeah, the fingernail that all you people have been giving me shit about. I'm just kind of lift up on it and pry this tab over. Just basically need to get up past this pin over on this side. And then as far as the other side goes, it just lifts up, pulls right out. There we have it. Chipboard uninstalled. See? 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 You see? All right. Now, seeing as how I'm gonna be setting this on my table here, I'm gonna go ahead for the time being, clean up this flex paste off the top so I don't end up with a bunch of stuff stuck all over it. And cleaning it off sooner is better than cleaning it off later because as it dries, it gets more difficult. 